Hi guys from All for Shooters. We're here in Nida Weimar in uh, Germany and uh, we're here to test the Unique Alpine TPG3 A4. This is the highest expression of uh, professional guns and accuracy from Unique Alpine. The uh, gun is a multi-caliber rifle meant for long range and professional use. It has a interchangeable barrel system uh, that uh, allows uh, by changing the uh, head of the bolt, the barrel and the magazine to change uh, from four calibers starting from 6.5 Creedmoor all the way up to 338 Lapua Magnum. The gun is a chassis system uh, it is uh, built around a aluminum action and aluminum chassis. Uh, the, um, the, the locking system is uh, with uh, three lugs that lock into the barrel extension, um, allowing uh, the use of a very, very uh, light uh, action that has a uh, steel insert to allow for primary extraction here. So you don't mar the the, the material of the uh, action. The um, uh, folding stock allows to completely lock the bolt so that the gun is perfectly safe to, uh, to carry. The uh, Picatinny uh, rail of the, uh, on top of the, uh, of the chassis is already slanted uh, by 20 minutes of angle to allow for extreme long range uh, shooting, allowing the use of all of the clicks of the uh, rifle scope that we mount on this gun. Um, around the forend, there are uh, eight uh, sides that we can use to place uh, Picatinny rails uh, as uh, we need for the uh, mission that is at hand. One thing about the barrels, they have a very, very e effective flash and uh, break on the muzzle. This uh, muzzle break is also a mounting interface for the suppressor that the um, uh, German manufacturer uh, uh, actually offers with the gun, of course, where this is allowed by law. To change the barrels and change calibers, it is really, really, really simple. All we need to do is basically loosen five bolts. One bolt is on the right side and the four bolts, the main bolts, are on the left side. We just use two uh, um, screwdrivers, hex bolt screwdrivers. We loosen uh, the uh, bolts in succession. The first, the number one, then the number two. Then the number three, and then the number four. We change sides at this point, and we use the other screwdriver, and we loosened the last last bolt. At this point, opening the bolt, we just need to. It's very tight because tolerances are extremely, extremely tight. Uh, at this point, all we need to do is simply to change the bolt, the, the barrel. That's it. We remove the uh, bolt from the gun. We open up the folding stock to do this. We unscrew the cap, the striker cap and remove the striker assembly from the bolt. At this point, it's really easy to remove the head bolt that has special markings on them so that it's impossible to make a mistake in uh, mounting the head bolt back in the gun. So, let's see if it closes. Perfect. All we need to do at this point is just change the magazine because of course for each caliber there is a magazine that allows the use of that ammunition. So once we've placed back the barrel inside the gun, we just need to screw back in 
the uh, the five screws. It's really difficult to make mistakes at this point because the, uh, the various uh, bolts are simply numbered and we have to just close them. So at this point we have a bolt that is not uh, had, uh, uh, a bolt head that is not correct for the caliber. We need to remove the bolt. We need to disassemble the bolt head. To do this we simply have to remove the striker cap. Then the uh, bolt head can be just removed from the bolt body and we can exchange it with the second bolt. It's difficult to make mistakes in this, in this case because the bolts have markings on the head so it's really difficult to place the, the incorrect bolt for the caliber. At this point we reassemble the, uh, the bolt with the striker assembly. We align correctly so that the bolt is operable. We see if it locks. Okay, it locks perfectly. So this is it. Basically, this is the complete gun. We just need to replace the magazine with the correct magazine for the caliber and we're ready to go. This gun is a very, very interesting gun. It's uh, extremely uh, accurate. It's meant for extreme long ranges and for professional use. We tested it at the maximum uh, range that this uh, uh, shooting range allows us, 300 meters, and we got impressive results. Uh, we invite you to uh, give us your impressions, your questions uh, below, and we will be here to answer them. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.